Now, yesterday I got my first COVID jab, and today, as always, like everyone, my arm is a little bit on the stiff side today. So we're gonna put the racing content to one side and focus on something that you guys have been requesting quite frequently in the comment section, and that is my team custom liveries. So I've done this video last year on F1 2020. We're gonna do it again. The concept is exactly the same, but I'm gonna try and make it a bit easier and try and keep this video under 10 minutes or there or thereabouts. So let's jump into it and let's see what this year's game has in store for us. Also guys, before we jump into it, over half the people that watch my content are not subscribed to my channel. So if you find this video informative and it helps you out, then consider hitting the red subscribe button. It really helps me out. And if you're going to enjoy this video, leave a like as well. It helps out in the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, let's jump into it and let's see what I have to show you guys. So we're gonna keep this as bare bones as possible and as simple as possible. So first and foremost, before we jump into it, one thing to be made very, very clear. You can only mod F1 games on PC. You cannot mod on PS5 or Xbox. Now, if you are on PC, you need four things to be able to do this, possibly five. So let's jump into it. Number one, you need Ego ERP Archiver. This is a program, a specially designed program, which you can import and export files in and out of the F1 game. So you take out the original files, you modify them, and then you re-import them back into the game in their final form. That's part one. Number two, Photoshop. This is a program you have to pay for, or you can find a way around it, if you know what I'm saying. So good luck, try and do what you can, but you need Photoshop in the case of being able to mod. I believe you can use Paint. I think it might be possible, but don't quote me on that or GIMP, I'm not sure, but I personally use Photoshop for this. And along with Photoshop, you're gonna need the Intel TextureWorks 3D plugin. So this is gonna help in terms of saving the files in a certain way, which is compatible for the F1 game. And then the extra, which you may or may not need, is the Photoshop 3D plugin. So you might need that as an extra. It depends what version of Photoshop you get. So bear that in mind. And then finally, you're gonna need the 3D model, which I'll leave a link to this website right here. And you need to click on you know whatever you wanna use. In this case, the My Team Car, you click on that and you download the 3D template for the car so you can modify it. So once you have these four slash five things, we can now jump into Photoshop. Now, I already have my own custom 3D car saved, but for those of you that don't know, when you download the file, which is this one here, you're gonna open up the 7-zip or the WinRAR, whatever you may use, and you have a PSD file, which is a Photoshop file. You're gonna open that in your Photoshop, and it should give you a generic car, as you can see here, it's the F1 70th edition from last year's game. And this is what you can use to work with. Now, obviously myself personally, I've already done some work and stuff, so, we're not gonna use that. This is what I have. This is my current, my team car. And you're gonna have this. You can move this in the background. You do need a relatively decent-ish PC to run so it goes smoothly. But basically, you have the 3D model here. And this should look like this if you have the 3D plugin. If you don't have the 3D plugin, it will look completely 2D and you can't do this kind of stuff. In that case, like I said, go check out the 3D plugin on Google, try and find it, download it, and install it. Now then, here is my livery. I'm not gonna show you guys how to make the livery. That's not what this video is about. This is how to essentially mod. You guys can spend hours, you know, having fun trying to create a sick livery, and that's kind of another video for another day. This isn't necessarily about livery design. Now, on the right-hand side here, you have a section called JB72 underscore paint. That is the livery file. So you're gonna double left click on that, and it's gonna open up this right here. So essentially, this is my version because I've modified it but you're gonna have a wireframe here. You can pretty much build a blank canvas and have fun with it and do whatever you want. So you've got all the guides and all the parts you can change and you can essentially adjust it all to your liking. So pretty straightforward. And as I've shown before, this is my current, my team livery. So this is what we're looking at right now. And you can see here, if we, if we leave the wireframe on, the wireframe will actually update on this as well, as you can see. And um, you get an idea where things are. So as you're working along, you can kind of see, all right, okay, I've got, I got to change this, that, the other. I've got to get close to this line, you know. And it just gives you a bit of a, of a rough guide as, in terms of how it works. So there's that part of the video. We're not going to, again, we're not going to speak about how I made delivery. That's 
a video for another day and again you can spend hours doing this you might make a livery that you love and then after four hours you're like actually i prefer this or you might go in a different direction or have fun with it so it's kind of irrelevant you know just go for something that you like or that you enjoy and just express yourself basically so livery done and now what you want to know is how do i put this back into the game how do i save it into f1 so it's a pretty simple two-step ish kind of process so you finish your work and you have the 3d and the 2d version now you're going to go to this right here which is the livery kind of overlay flat in 2d you're going to go to file you're going to go save as now by default the 3d saves as a psb now you want to change that to a psd which is the regular photoshop file you're going to select that and you're going to save it in this case i'm going to save it to my desktop you're going to save that file and that's your work saved so if you have to edit anything always use this file the psd file is where you can go and change things all the time now we're going to save it for f1 so you're going to go file save as again but this time we're going to click on the intel texture works plugin which of course is the one i said at the start of the video you have to download and install so you're going to save it as that you're going to click save and for liveries on f1 games you want to go texture texture type color and you want to make sure the compression is srgb dx10 plus you're going to click ok give it a second for it to save and there we go we're done and we can now go into the game so here we are then in my desktop we have the two files right here and now we're going to import them into the game so we're going to go to the ego erp archive which i mentioned at the start of the video we're going to open it up and we're going to run it let's minimize this so first and foremost very important thing you've got to do here settings you've got to change your game directory and you've got to set it to f1 2021 so wherever your game files are you need to go here and in my case it's program files 86 in my hard drive steam steam apps common f1 2021 select folder now you can go file open here is the base folder layout for the f1 game on the new f1 2021 game and to access the custom livery on the fom card you have to go into asset groups you then go down to vehicle package you then go into teams and then it's a two-step process first and foremost fom car and then your corresponding my team engine so in my case the engine i'm using is honda so first of all fom car uh web and then form car you're going to open this file and it's going to give you a list of textures here so you're going to go from all resources to the textures 414 tab and then here you've got loads of things you need to scroll down a little bit and you need to find the Devon Butler or the Casper Ackerman, whatever your preference is, but one of these liveries, so Casper Ackerman or Devon Butler. You can also use Aiden Jackson, which I believe is a little bit further down, if I'm not mistaken. Here we are, so Livery Jackson, you can use that as well. Um, but in this case, we're gonna use Butler, which is what I use. Now, once you get, you've got two files to change here. You've got this one, which is underscore D and underscore S. So let me explain. We'll jump into this file very shortly, but this is where you decide if your car is going to be gloss paint, metallic paint, or matte paint, or whatever you want it to be. This is purely for the livery design. So we're going to go to textures, we're going to go to import, and then you're going to go to your desktop, which is where your file is, and you're going to use the DDS file that you saved, as you can see here, this one right here. You're going to click open, and you're going to click save, and you're going to want to overwrite the file. So you'll see here, give it a couple of seconds until we get full functionality back. And there we go, the livery has updated. So that part is done. You might be wondering what else do we have to do? So first and foremost, you've got a file, save as, overwrite the form car because that's important. And now we're gonna go save it on our actual My Team engine. So you're gonna go back a couple of folders. And in this case, My Team Honda, which is my car. Web, open the My Team Honda up. Same again, scroll down to uh, Butler's one. You can see here this isn't working because we've over we've overridden and replaced the livery. So we need to do the same thing here to match up one to one. So again, select the file on your desktop, open, save and override. And then once that loads, any second now, just like that. There we go, we can now save it and job done. So the livery is now in the game. Now, how do we create a matte finish or a metallic finish or a gloss finish? Um, it depends on your preference. Now, me personally, I'm not too experienced with it. I'm not 100% certain what the specific color codes are for gloss or metallic. 
I use matte paint so I know what I want with that so here we have the car you know a 2d kind of impression of the paint so in order to get a th uh, the, the, the matte finish that you want it's very simple go to the bottom right and you're going to click on the little plus icon here to create a new layer it's a blank layer make sure it's at the very top of the pile and it overrides everything now what we're going to do is very simple we're going to get the bucket tool and we're going to choose a color now that color has to be this color right here so if we quickly um, grab the eyedropper that color code is 00cc33 so we're going to use that color and all we've got to do right now is just drop a bucket on there and you're going to have this green layer now this specific color code is the matte paint that i use so essentially what i recommend doing is once you've got the green you can go ahead and you can delete the rest of the the files and you don't need those once you have this just save it um, doesn't have to be a psd this time because it's just a single file so intel texture works again i would rename the file to um s underscore layer just so you can differentiate it from the other ones you want to say as intel texture works exactly the same configuration as the previous one and now we have our matte paint ready to go it's essentially just taking the car livery removing everything and just making a simple green base layer, which is what i have here which is my version um you can customize it if you select certain parts of livery but realistically from my experience it doesn't really matter it looks quite clean just doing it this way so we're now going to import this into the game so we've done this here which is the main livery and now we're going to do the s underscore now i've already of course got it saved from before but same process again so um, textures import you want to go to your desktop search for the file which is the s underscore layer open that override it save it and there we go just like that good to go save again override the my team honda and then go back to the FOM car, which is the other section where you have to save things. FOM car, same thing again. Search for the file, which is here. Textures, import. Grab the file, S layer, open, override, yes. And then save. And job done. And there we go. It's as simple as that. Once you do all those steps, you have something that looks somewhat like that. So... Yeah, hopefully you guys found the video informative. I don't want to go much longer. That is the essence of modding. Once you get used to it, it's fairly simple, fairly routine, and in and out, in and out. It's quite easy to do. You can you know, change files all the time. So there you go then. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more, for more tips, videos, you know, help videos, tutorials, that kind of stuff regarding the F1 game and modding. And as always, guys, a big shout out to the channel members for supporting the content. Finally, check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them already. And I'll see you all in my next one. Until then, take care and let's get back from me.